we are officially headed towards Madison. north and then we headed west a little bit but now we're heading from Butte Montana east and it's gonna take us a week to get to Madison we have a few stops along the way stopping in Billings then stopping in Bismarck then stopping somewhere in Minnesota then we'll be in Wisconsin a week before the games training all that jazz and then it's right there but it's official we are headed towards the CrossFit Games. Currently, we are headed down a huge hill, 6% grade. When the sign says trucks over 12,000 pounds go 25 miles an hour or 35, you follow those directions. In fact, when you're towing a heavy load and it says trucks, you know, it'd be like a yellow sign that says 25 miles an hour around this curb, something like that, you have to pay attention to that when you're in something this big because it's legit. Faster than that and you were out of control. So, uh, we're just, man, car is slowing us down and we're going down a big hill. We are settled in Billings and uh, we've got this sweet spot. It's the corner of, uh, of an RV park that is paved. So behind me here, oh, look at all that pavement. It's blazing hot. It's almost six o'clock at night and I'm starting my first session. And it's a Tuesday, this is not ideal, but I think this is the last time before the CrossFit Games that we travel on a day that I train. So we got smart as we were planning this out. Next travel day is on a rest day, another travel day on a recovery day. Then we're in Madison. So the CrossFit Games are essentially for me in three weeks and the volume is not decreasing yet. Uh, now it's time to continue to train hard practice hard, practice intensity, practice volume, build confidence, stay healthy, recover, eat well, make sure my body is in tip top shape for performance in three weeks. Gratefully, it doesn't get dark till like 11 o'clock at night. I don't really wanna work out that late. My body feels good and uh, I wanna move after being in the car all day. So that's what I'm gonna do. CrossFit Billings for uh, one day, that's it. And luckily, I have some GHDs to get done today, some lifting, it's gonna be 97 degrees out today. I'm two and a half weeks out from the CrossFit Games. Training is still full throttle. Okay, my goal in training right now is to build confidence, um, build skills, practice skills, practice intensity, uh, practice you know, being at that threshold, experiencing lots of pain so that I'll be ready at the CrossFit Games for damn near anything.
done in Billings, Montana. And I just got the back of the rig packed. Basically, I pack it differently almost every time until I've got this perfect. I love organizing things, so every time I get to pack, it's kind of fun. Let me show you what I've got. So back here, I've got the bike erg, I've got the ski erg, I've got the rower broken in half. I have all the bumper plates, all of the dumbbells. Inside of this box down here, I've got uh, rings, I've got my rope, I've got knee pads, ab mats, stakes to uh, uh, pound in the ground to make my rig secure. And then I secure barbells just like that. There's these little attachments on the floor for a four wheel or something like that. I just use these wiry, I don't know, they're like giant twist ties, thick twist ties to hold those barbells there. And this has become very efficient. Above me, I have my desk is right up here. And I have gear for recording videos right there. And this contraption right here was to put barbells so that they could raise up high. But I actually found this barbells on the floor situation to be just a little bit easier. Let me show you the back of the truck. In the back of the truck, lots of things, um, but it all just kind of works. So I have the rig broken down into two parts, the base and the vertical part. You can see that here. I have a stall mat rolled up at the very end down there. I have a fire pit. There's some chairs and a table in here. I've got my toolbox. Blackstone grill is right there. And a couple of doormats below that. Also on the edge here, I have half stall mats, one here and one right here. So I have two total stall mats, but I just have one rolled up and two half stall mats. Everything else fits right in the middle of this thing is the hitch and it is free and clear. So the fifth wheel can just slide right in there. And that's it. That's how you, that's how you pack a rig. And we are just about ready to hit the road. Six hours to Bismarck. Headed to Bismarck. North Dakota, 410 miles away. So what that feels like is a thousand hours away, but it is a recovery day. We'll get there, we'll unpack. I'll either jump on my bicycle or my Concept 2 bike. I'll do a recovery workout and uh, we'll be settled in there. Then on Sunday, rest day, we'll be headed to Minneapolis, Minnesota or somewhere around Minneapolis. Big, big travel week. Thought that there was plenty of gas to get to a gas station somewhere outside of Billings, but 100 miles left into the tank and just doing a quick search outside of Billings, there's no gas stations on the way. So we pulled into this little town, <laughs> uh, drove through this teeny little town just to fill up on gas with one of the oldest pumps I've ever used ever in my life. Older than me, for sure. I hope this diesel isn't expired. And thank God we could fit here because otherwise we would have to drive back to Billings like 15 miles to get gas. It was stressful driving through this town on teeny little streets, going under power lines, hoping to not like trip up a power line. We pulled in this way and there was a whole crowd of locals in front of the gas station. And then we turned and we turned and turned and came in this way. And when I went in to give them my credit card, she was like, why didn't you just come in the first way? And I was like, I just didn't, wasn't sure if I could get out. So I thought we would just go around town. I think they're all having a good old laugh about these rookies trying to figure this out. I think there might be an open water swim at the CrossFit Games. Um, at least there's lots of hints towards that, so.
in Bismarck today and it is um, going to rain a lot. And, uh, and Big Muddy CrossFit is letting me come in to do some work. They don't typically do open gym, uh, but I talked to uh, the owners on the phone and they're gonna let me come in. It's fantastic when uh, people allow you to do something like this. And again, the etiquette is stay out of the way of the class, um, leave the place better than, than it was when you got here, and uh, do some shout outs, obviously. So I'm excited to get in here, get some work done today. Wow, look at this place. How pretty and huge is this? <laughs> yeah, this will work. I tried to get into this track at this high school to do some running on the track and that was after trying to go to a track at a university to go on that track. So it's been like a half hour of driving to try to find a track and the fence and the gates are huge. There is literally no breaking into this track. This is the first time I've ever run into like such security around the gates. So there's this huge parking lot. It's going to suffice for the running. I'll just have to use my phone to map my run a little bit. Get the job done. You just gotta improvise and do whatever you gotta do to get your workout in. I would love to be on that track, but I'd love to not get arrested, so I'm just gonna do it here. We just arrived in St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's the big trek to Madison. So uh, by Thursday, another recovery day or rest day, uh, we'll be entering into Wisconsin. That'll be good. But I was just talking to Gina four or five days ago, telling her that, you know, I, I feel prepared. I feel ready for the games. I feel good. I feel ready. And now I got the Johnson and Johnson COVID shot on Friday, just so I don't have to take a COVID test every day at the games. I don't really want to do that. Uh, although I've had COVID and beat COVID and you know, I'm just going to get the Johnson and Johnson shot. So I don't have to worry about it. Well, Friday night I got really, really sick. It was awful. Absolutely awful. And that forced me to do an extra rest day. <laughs> so I rested on Saturday and while I'm horizontal for all day, didn't even get out of bed till one in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm just perusing social media and everyone is just training like maniacs for the games. You know, there's there's a training camp at Mayhem and Proven is, you know, killing it and they're all doing ski ergs and swimming and crushing it. Everyone's everyone's killing it and I'm flat out and sick, super sick. Last week my body was beat up and I'm okay with that. I'm used to my body being beat up but it was really beat up. My back was hurting, my neck was hurting, my elbow was killing me. Just things were things were really getting beat up and you know when I started getting sick Friday night I knew what was happening I knew that basically my body was responding like I had COVID the vaccine was it was a thousand times worse than actually having COVID for me it's different for everybody that's fine but I knew that I was gonna have to take a rest day on Sunday there was no way I was gonna be able to work out so yeah I mean I'm all day Saturday and on Sunday I see people training like crazy for the games and you know it's Sunday night now now I feel behind I feel like, gosh, am I actually prepared? Am I ready for this thing? Or am I just gonna go out there and, and, and look foolish and feel foolish? Um, you know, am I prepared? Am I ready? Uh, I don't know. Have I been pushing myself uh, with the intensity and the volume? Is that correct? Have I been correct in my training? Or did I make mistakes along the way? Uh, I'm getting nervous. I guess that's the bottom line is I'm getting nervous. You know, I don't wanna disappoint myself, disappoint my family, my friends, my clients, everybody that's watching. I want to do well, freaking well at the CrossFit Games. <laughs> Up until like a couple of days ago, I felt like I was really good to go. And now I'm, now I'm nervous. 